How to create an OTP field in Flutter. You can easily do this using this package here. Let's begin by first of all adding the pin pute widget from the package like this. And with that saved, we can see that we have added an OTP field in our Flutter application. Now, let's add some decorations. We can add decorations using the default pin theme. Therefore, I have defined the default pin theme and in it, I have set a decoration property for which I have set it to box decoration. Next, let's add the border property for which I have set it to border.or and set the color to color.purple. Now, in our application, we can see that we have added borders for each OTP field in our with Flutter application. We can also define border radius. Therefore, I have set the border radius to a border radius.or and set it to eight on all sides. And we can see in our application that we have set each OTP field with a border radius of eight. We can also set the color for each OTP field. Therefore, I have set the color property and I have set it to colors.white. Also, we can define the height and width of each field. Therefore, I have set the height to 88 and the width to 72. And with that saved, we can see that the height and the width of each OTP field in our photo app has been changed. Lastly, we can define the text style property for the default theme. Therefore, I've defined the text style and I've set the font size to 24 and added the font weight of font weight.bold. And with this saved, we can see that we have applied a text style property to each of the input fields in our Flutter application. After adding the default pin theme, we can also set the focus pin theme. The focus pin theme will be the theme when the input field is in focus. To do this, we will set it to the default theme that we created earlier and extend it by calling on the copy border width method. And in it, we will set the border and we will set it to border.all, set the color to colors.purple and add a width of two. And with this saved, we can see that when the input field is in focus, the border changes. We can also set an error pin theme, which will be the theme displayed when there's an error. Therefore, We'll set it to the default pin theme we created earlier and also call on the copy border width method. Then we'll set the border and set it to border.all, set the color to colors.red and also set the width to two. Next, we'll set the main axis alignment property and set it to main axis alignment dot space evenly. Then we set the pin pute auto validate mode, which we will set to unsubmit. We'll define the validator property in which we will check to see if the pin imputed by the user is equal to 2222 two, 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 as stated here. And with this saved, we can see that when we impute the wrong pin theme, we can see the error pin theme coming into display. When we put in the correct pin, the error disappears.